first of all, I got a tape. And I listened to the tape in your car. And I only heard the first two songs, so I didn't need to hear any more. I knew that what I was hearing was exactly what I wanted to hear in my band. The Vine Street Horns. They are the highest quality and the most consistent horn section I've ever, definitely ever worked with, and also I've ever heard. Um, everything is on every night. We play, you know, we play 150 shows probably, we will have played 150 shows by the time we finish. I'm very fussy, you know, I'm very, very fussy. And anybody that's worked with me before will know that I, you know, I will lean on. I mean, Harry knows from when uh, he was with Phoenix Horns that I used to come daily with a series of notes of things that I had knew had to be tidied up and cleaned up. And I've never had any reason after a show, or even before a show, really, to, to say, hey, we're going to tighten this up, we're going to tighten that up, because the guys are their own best editors. We have Arturo on trombone, um, Daniel on trumpet, and uh, Harry Kim, who's the leader of the section, kind of, he formed it on first trumpet, and uh, Andrew Wolfolk on saxophone, who uh, coincidentally used to be with the Earth, Wind & Fire. They have a vibe that's powerful, they're punchy, they play with magic love, all the things that anybody would ever want to play with, and uh, it's been my great pleasure to uh, have the opportunity to play with the Vine Street Horns. My name is Harry Kim, and I'd like to say a few words about the Vine Street Horns. You know, I've been with many horn sections throughout the years, and uh, I felt it was time for me to put a section of my own together. So, naturally, I thought of the very best musicians that I had worked with, people that not only bring enthusiasm and fire to the performances, but that also could come together to create kind of a unique flair and excitement. The result, Vine Street. I went down to the Forum and saw Phil Collins. And uh, the second half of the show, the Vine Street Horns came out. I was already familiar with Harry because I'd seen him uh, with an earlier uh, configuration in Paris called Phoenix Horns. I saw Harry there playing in Paris behind uh, uh, Franz Gall uh, at the Zenith Theater in Paris. And I said, who are these crazy people? And who is this Asian young man sp splitting notes up there and playing auxiliary notes, notes that don't exist on the trumpet? And it was Harry. And the next time I saw him again, I would heard that he had a, a unit called the Vine Street Horns. And there was a lot of horn sections which I always liked from time to time. But all the horn sections uh, couldn't always make the transition from live performance to the studio. Uh, it's like the guys who were really good in the studio, sometimes live didn't quite have the same uh, way of playing. It's like the studio was very controlled, and live, you need a little bit more reckless abandon, and they didn't seem to have it. Vine Street Horns are the only horn section I've seen that either in the studio or live, it's, it's consistent. I love buying straight horns. Harry and the guy are a great, great musician, great players. They did the wonderful job on my songs. As always, it's it's a pleasure working with Vine Street because they all know how to phrase together. That's the most important thing, obviously. So when we do the chart, it doesn't take hours for them to get it all together. They 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 know each other so well that the, the phrasing pops in right away. And Harry's got them all under control, whipped through any problems with the chart real quick. It's it's always so easy. That's why we always use them. 
My name is Dan Fornero, and I'm playing trumpet with the Vine Street Horns, and I'm having the time of my life. I just want to say a few words about the Vine Street Horns. Uh, I had an experience with them uh, with the Kachao Orchestra in a very short notice uh, uh, atmosphere, and for my money, there's no horn section like theirs. Hi, I'm Arturo Velasco, and I'm the trombone player in the Vine Street Horns, and um, I'm very thrilled to be here. We spent most of our youth in the smoky nightclubs, and many, many years playing different kinds of music. I think that's one of the things that makes us very versatile. R&B, funk, Afro-Caribbean music. We've done it all and learned to do it authentically. We've also recorded and performed with many, many artists, like uh, ranging from Smokey Robinson, The Temptations, even Marvin Gaye, all the way up to Celia Cruz and Tito Puente. Hey, if you ever need a horn section, the Vine Street horn sections are the best, believe me. Boom, boom, ba -da, biddy, ba -ba -da, biddy, ba -ba -da, biddy, ba -ba -da, ba -da. Great horn section. My name is Andrew Woolfolk. Okay. And what I do here is I play this golden plumbing. It's called a saxophone. I'm Al McKay from the LA All Stars. The Vine Street Horns is just a kick in his horn section that I've had the pleasure to work with. All of these great musicians are creative and, and talented, and I'm, I'm real happy to be working with all of them. Now, I have this friend named Harry Kim with a horn section second to none. And with Art and Dan and Andrew, too, these guys are a whole lot of fun. They don't just play the music all commonplace and plain. They make the music beautiful as well as entertain. So put some spice in your life, some flavor in your songs. Do yourself a favor. Use the Vine Street horn. I can't speak high enough of the guys and um you can send my check to... <laughs> <laughs>